Hey everybody, Chris here from It's Mead Made, and today we are back talking about Cura. So if you missed my first videos talking about all the basic things that I think you should know about Cura, I'll put the link to that playlist right up there. In my last Cura settings videos, I got a lot of amazing feedback, and I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. But the one thing you all were asking for was supports. You wanted to know more about supports, so here's your video. Now, the one thing I will say that this video is all about supports, but this is the beginning phase of knowing supports because there is a lot to know about supports. And I'm not gonna lie, they're a pain in the But I'm going to help you understand how to do it. But first, we need to figure out one thing. And I guess I should take a step back and say that this is the beginning of multiple videos on understanding supports. It is such a loaded topic and there are so many options in your support settings. No wonder it's the biggest topic for people to ask how to do it. It is confusing and I'm going to break it down in multiple parts so you can understand when you see something wrong, you'll know exactly what to change. And in this video, we're starting at step one. We need to know our support overhang angle. Support overhang angle. That is hard for me to say. And in this video, I am going to show you how you can figure out what your support overhang angle is. So let's go ahead, jump over the table and get started. So the first thing we need to do is jump over to Thingiverse and get this file right here. There's a lot of files on Thingiverse to test your 3D printer but this one only tests your overhang, and that's what we're wanting to do. So I'll go ahead and put a link to this one in the description below. So once we've downloaded that from Thingiverse, we're gonna throw it into Cura and put it at the settings that we are actually printing at. So if you're printing a lot of things at a 0.1 layer height, that's what we actually want to print it at. So think of this as the model you've been trying to print with your supports and been having issues with because we need to figure out at that layer height and speed what's the optimal support angle. So let me hit print on this and then let's jump to the table and see what my angle is. Once you have your support overhang printed, now you have to inspect it to figure out your optimal angle. All you have to do is switch it on the back side here and then you're looking for the first segment that actually looks perfect. If you see a lot of this stringing and stuff, this is obviously a bad layer. So my printer can't handle 80 degrees and I don't know very many printers that can. So all I'm doing is looking for that angle that, I mean, it looks just as good as it does down here. So I keep looking and then I'm going to see that my angle, my perfect angle is about right here, which is, 50 degrees. So at 50 degrees, I can print perfectly without any supports. So my support overhang angle is at 50 degrees. Anything above 50 degrees, I need to have supports for. So let's jump into Cura and let me show you where to change these settings. So when your print settings panel is open, scroll down to supports. Now, I might have a different selection than you do, and if you need to get the same selections that I have, all you have to do is go to your preferences, and then go under settings. Now under your settings, there are a lot of different settings in Cura that you might not have selected, so you can't see it over here in your panel. If you scroll down to the support section, all you have to do is check the ones that you want to be displayed in the side panel. I don't have every single one checked because there's some that I just leave default. Once you've selected those, all you gotta do is hit close and then they will be right here in your panel. The main one we're focusing on right now is your support overhang angle. If you're having troubles finding it, you can also just search for it right here. Before I put in the settings I want, I wanna make sure you understand how the support overhang angle setting works. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn this to 45 degrees. I have mine set to 45 degrees, and I just moved this box to 45 degrees. You can see that nothing is red right here. 
So knowing that this angle is at 45 degrees, and if I would make this 44 degrees, it would turn it red, and Cura is indicating that I need supports here. If I would make this at, say, 46 degrees, it is actually within the tolerances. So, looking at what my actual overhang test did, and it said 50 degrees is good, I would type in 50 degrees, right there. And that is how you find out what your overhang angle is. So whatever angle printed best on your support overhang, you're going to type that in right here. So once you have your support overhang angle set in Cura, you're going to know from this point on, when you bring in a model, if there's red underneath it, you need to have supports on that model because it exceeds the angle that your printer can actually print at. So before we get into the last part of this video, if you have liked anything that you have seen here today or learned something, please feel free to hit the like button on this video. But now you know your support overhang angle with this overhang test. Now it's in Cura, you are ready to go to dive deep into these Cura settings and understand what each thing does. And you're gonna find that, you guessed it, in the next video. I'll see you there.